Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. Suppose ABCD is a square. Suppose point E is in the interior such that angle EDC is equal to 15 degrees and angle ECD is also equal to 15 degrees. Construct EB. The question is to solve for the measure of angle EBC. I thank Tolly for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two ways to solve the problem. The first uses geometry, and the second uses trigonometry. Let's get started with the geometry solution. We will first consider triangle EDC. We will construct a congruent triangle alongside BC. Label the point on the interior as F. Now since FCB is equal to 15 degrees and ECD is equal to 15 degrees and angle C is a right angle which measures 90 degrees, we can conclude that ECF is equal to 60 degrees. Next, construct FE. By construction, CF and CE are congruent sides. Therefore, we have an isosceles triangle with a vertex angle equal to 60 degrees. This means the other two angles will both be equal to 60 degrees as well. Therefore, triangle EFC is an equilateral triangle and EF is also equal to EC and FC. From here, we will calculate the measure of angle BFC. We know that FBC is equal to 15 degrees, so we can calculate the remaining angle in the triangle is equal to 150 degrees. We then have the three angles around point F must sum to 360 degrees, so we can calculate that EFB is also equal to 150 degrees. We then have the triangles FBC and FBE are congruent by side angle side. Thus, angle FBE is also equal to 15 degrees. Therefore, angle EBC is equal to 15 degrees plus 15 degrees, which is equal to 30 degrees. And that's the answer. Now let's solve the problem using trigonometry. Suppose that F is the midpoint of DC and G is the midpoint of AB. FG will be the perpendicular bisector of DC and the perpendicular bisector of AB. Since E is equidistant from the vertices D and C, E will be along FG. Without loss of generality, suppose the square has a side length equal to 2. Then FC will be equal to 1 and GB will also be equal to 1. From here, FE will be equal to the tangent of 15 degrees, which is equal to the tangent of 30 degrees over 2. We can then use the tangent half angle formula. Tangent of theta over 2 is equal to the sine of theta divided by the quantity 1 plus the cosine of theta. We can thus substitute theta is equal to 30 degrees, and it's a routine calculation from here. We merely simplify this fraction, and then we can rationalize it as well. We end up that Fe is equal to 2 minus the square root of 3. Then we can calculate the length of Eg. It will be equal to Da minus Fe. Da is equal to 2. We've calculated Fe. Therefore, Eg will be equal to the square root of 3. From here, we will use trigonometry again. Consider angle EBG. We know that it's equal to the inverse tangent of the square root of 3, which is equal to 60 degrees. Then angle B is a right angle. Therefore, angle EBC must be equal to 30 degrees. And that's our answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.